As the commanding officer of this base, it's my duty, my most unpleasant duty, to read you a communication from fleet headquarters. Believe me, I would rather be attacked by kamikazes. Oh, have we done that well, sir? <laughs> <laughs> Lieutenant Commander Quentin McHale and crew, PT-73, etc., etc., etc. No fair skipping, sir. You shut up or I'll skip you down to seaman second class. <laughs> You are hereby officially commended for your splendid performance in the Como Straits operation. Your resourcefulness, <laughs> your daring, and your coolness under fire were in the finest traditions of the United States Navy. Signed, Admiral John Rogers, etc., etc., etc. What do you know? We're heroes! Yay! As you are! Personally, I consider you the foulest bunch of brigands ever to escape hanging on a yard arm. Uh, so thank you, sir. Thank you. You're all hard, Captain. <laughs> Dismiss! Bye-bye, Captain. Bye. <laughs> Ta-da! Hi, Betsy. I'm here. Oh, hello, Tinker. For you, beautiful. Oh, Tinker, you shouldn't have. It's okay. I stole them from Binghamton's garden. Tinker, I tried to call you. I'm afraid our date is off. But you promised. I got big news. I'm a hero. You mean you're getting a medal? Well, not a medal exactly. We got this commendation. Where did you hear this? It's beautiful. For daring resourcefulness and coolness under Tinker. fire. We I know it's off, love me, but I simply forgot our date when this fighter pilot came in and... Fighter pilot? He's been shot down five times. He's costing us taxpayers a fortune. <laughs> oh, excuse me, Tinker, there he is. But, Betsy, I love you, and what's more, I'm daring, resourceful, and cool. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> Say, Skip. Well, now, let me get this straight. You want me to lend you a $250,000 torpedo boat so Tinker here can make time with some nurse? Such a small favor to ask. Plus! Plus which I let myself be tied up in some cave on an island? Yes, yeah, Skip. While I take pictures of the heroic action. Just long enough for Tinker to rescue you single-handed from this Japanese commando. Banzai! <laughs> I'm gonna banzai you in a minute! Now, come on, out, out, all of you, out! Oh, come on, Skip, this is for Tinker. Skipper, I'm crazy in love with Betsy. Well, that's too bad. There's a war going on, remember? Yeah, and don't forget, we get paid for clobbering those nips. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> sorry, Pooch. <laughs> Skip, don't you even want to think it over a little? I thought it over. And if I hear one more peep out of any U8 balls about dames and heroes, so help me, Hen, I'm gonna... I'll feed you to the sharks. Hey, getting fat. Then Tinker could rescue us from a sea full of sharks, and we... Come on, get out of here. Out, 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 get out of here, out, out. Come on, you two. Oh. Hey, come on, Fuji. I told you I was sorry. <laughs> Betsy, Betsy, I can't stand it. I can't stand it. Me neither. Groove, you gotta do something. Well, what can I do? You heard the skipper lower the boom? I'll take the pee. Attention. <clears throat> As you were, man. <laughs> Loose lips sink ships. Pretty catchy. Betsy has gorgeous lips. I wonder who's kissing them now. Oh, well. Bum show, Tink. 
listen if you want to come over to my digs and talk it over man to man. With who, sir? Oh, we'll find somebody. You know. I mean, with me. Depending on loud. Some guys have no appreciation around here. You know, a guy goes through a lot of trouble once in a while. Ow! Gee, you better watch it, Fuji. You know, the Geneva Convention works both ways. Fuji, put that stuff back in stock. Keep it neat. Somebody else is taking my place. Somebody else now shares her embrace. Groove, you gotta help our buddy before I kill him. No mayhem. While I'm out trying to keep from crying. Hey, where did he learn to sing anyway? Quiet, you guys. I'm trying to think. Mm. Will you stop humming? He's trying to think. I got it. Loose lips sink ships, right? So who says we can't also talk to a dame? Wait a minute. You harm one hair on my girl's head now. Tink. What are you driving at, Groove? Yeah, it, it, it's, it's simple. Betsy wants a hero. We'll get her one. We'll spread the scuttlebutt around that, uh, that Tinker here has been picked for a very dangerous mission from which he won't come back. What kind of mission? What kind of mission? There's, the, there's this new secret weapon. Good. And the 73 is going out to test it against the nips. Don't that make Tink a big hero? Yeah, what happens when Betty finds out there's no such mission? That's the beauty part. She falls for you before we go. She does? It's the least she can do for a guy with one foot in the cemetery. Yeah, I know, Betsy. Oh, boy, when she hears I'm taking out this new secret weapon. What kind of a weapon? How do I know? It's a secret. Anyway, I wouldn't tell you. I'm sorry, Fuji. I didn't mean that. All right, you rumor mongers, what are we waiting for? Let's go and start loosening up those lips. Oh, Take over now, Betsy. Thanks, sorry. I'll pick it up from here. Okay. All right, guys. All set? Boy, I sure don't envy those guys on the 73. The 73? What about them? Ain't you heard? They pulled this ultra-special mission. Yeah, they're gonna try out some new secret weapon. Secret weapon, huh? Wow. Sounds like Tinker and all those guys will soon be wearing medals of honor around their necks. Yeah, if they still got necks. <laughs> well, shh. Remember, this is all top secret, so let's keep it real quiet. Do you think we got through to her? Tink, you're in. Let me see how she's standing. Please, Virgil. Fire the main locker. Oh, let's get out of here. Whoops. Too late. And salute. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Doris. A secret weapon. But don't let it get around. Oh, well, listen, I gotta go now. Bye. Ryan, wait till you hear this. Now, you gotta promise to keep it under your hat. It's top secret. Baby, my lips are sealed. Well, the way I heard it, Halsey told Nimitz. Chester, he says there's only one crew can handle this. The good old 73. You see, they're checking out some kind of new weapon. And if it works, boom! They're gonna be naming streets after those guys in the 73. But don't spread it around, huh? This is top. Top secret. They don't even know about this in Washington yet. <laughs> oh, Ensign Parker, what's new? Hey, Carpenter. Lieutenant Carpenter, please. Listen, can you keep the top secret? Why, of course. <laughs> and that's how it is, sir. But why Mikhail and the 73 crew? Why? It was FDR's idea, I heard, sir. And he talked it over with Churchill. But well, why wasn't I told anything about this? I didn't get the orders from Comfleet. Who's in command here? You, sir, and may I say, doing a darn fine job. Oh, shut up. <laughs> get to the bottom of this. Where is Mikhail? He's on his way over here, sir. First the commendation, and now this. But I tell you, I'm going to make him talk. I'll worm it out of him if I have to strangle him with my bare hands. <laughs> Ah, McHale reporting, sir. Oh, Quint, old man. <laughs> Quint, old man? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Have a seat, have a seat. <clears throat> so what, uh, what do you mean, what is it I want, Quint? I mean, do I always have to want something? Hmm? <laughs> After all, we've served together a long time, huh? Yeah, it sure looks that way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. It <laughs> sure looks that way. <laughs> you, you, <laughs> ah, Quint, you know what they say about the Navy. 
The Navy's like a football team. Everybody's in there playing that all game together. Nobody's trying to hog the glory, Quinn. You know, when that halfback, he gets that ball, and he crashes through that line, he wants it, Quinn. Quinn, are you listening to me, Quinn? Oh, yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. You go right ahead. It's your football. It's my football. <laughs> Burn your hand that you're talking. That's an order. Uh, talk, sir? Well, I'm a patient man, Mikhail. I can be pushed just so far, but I demand to know all about your ten hooks. Yes, I demand to know all about your ten hooks. <laughs> oh, Admiral Rogers. Good afternoon, gentlemen. <laughs> Mikhail, I'm glad you're here. I was just coming over to see you. Oh, I, I, I had anything I could do for you, sir. Yes, there is, Captain. How would you like to take on a special assignment? Oh, a special assignment, Mikhail. <laughs> I'm ready for anything, sir. Good. Now, you know Admiral Walsh over on Bangalore. Admiral Walsh of special weapons? That's right. <laughs> yeah, he needs a new refrigerator. Oh, he needs a high... refrigerator? <laughs> Neither did he get it. Mikhail, I want to talk to you. At your service, sir. <laughs> In uh, private. Do you mind, Captain? Oh, I, I know, sir. It's a pleasure, sir. Mikhail gets the glory, and I get stuck with the refrigerator. You know, Carpenter, this is a hard piece of cheese to swallow. Well, perhaps if you tried a little glass of water, sir, yes, make it down. Oh, shut up. I'm going to find out what this secret mission is about. <laughs> The wind is so high. Down, down, down. Yes, sir. Now, don't hurt me. <laughs> and right off the island, huh? Yes, sir. Lantiki Island, sir. Why, that has the best marlin fishing in the whole Pacific. Sir. Oh, my. I really Senator will like that. <laughs> carry on, carry on. Carpenter, window is shut tight. I can't hear a thing. Can you read lips? No, sir, but I can wiggle my ears. <laughs> wiggle your eyes. Oh, sir, they're coming out, sir, no. quick. Now, I need hardly say, Mikhail, that mum's the word. Oh, like they say, sir, loose lips sink ships. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Captain, you will follow through on that refrigerator now. Oh, yes, sir, like a shot, sir, yes, sir. Good, good. <laughs> now, I, Mikhail, just come into my office. Oh, wait a minute, Captain. Uh, Won't it wait? I want to give this lad dinner on my ship. Uh, in the Admiral's mess, she could... Why not? Under the circumstances, at least I can do. Come along, Mikhail. <laughs> Somebody up there hates me. <laughs> I can't tell you when, Mom, but it's the day after tomorrow. <laughs> So if I don't come home, remember I love you and take good care of yourself and dad and my India rubber plant? <laughs> Your devoted son, Charlie. Boy, that's beautiful. Hold it now, now. Chuck, what, what is all this? Well, I just wanted you to send it to my mommy. You know, just in case. Just in case? Skip, you don't have to talk. I understand. Understand what? Don't worry. When the hour strikes, I'll measure up. Chuck, what in blazes are you babbling about? Skip, you can trust me. Loose lips sink ships. <laughs> but Skip, we didn't do anything. Just drop the little scuttlebutt. To help me with Betsy. And ooh, is it helping? Yeah, it's all over the base. Oh, so, so that's why Mr. Parker was so... Uh, uh -huh. and, and Binghamton? Uh -huh. I ought to throw you all in a break! Oh, but Skipper... I told you there was a war going on. You bunch of bilge brain glory hounds. But it was just a little scuttlebutt. That don't hurt anybody. Uh -huh. After all, what harm can come from a, a little rumor? <laughs> Parker, I'm going to get it out of you if it's the last thing that I ever do. 
Now you talk. I have nothing to say, sir. Parker, do you know that I can have you clapped into irons? I can have you flogged right on up through the fleet. Now I know that the mission is set for tomorrow. Now what orders has Mikhail received? Talk. No comment. <laughs> do you know the penalty for disobeying a superior officer in time of war? Death, sir. By a firing squad. Now I am a superior officer. This is the time of war. This is your captain speaking. Now you talk. Charles Parker, Ensign, USNR, serial number 42-13-402. Parker! Oh, wait, no, it is 401. Uh, no, no, it's 402. If my dog tags hadn't rusted, I'd have been away from the firing squad carpenter. You get me my 45. Oh, oh, sure. It's over McHale's Island, sir. It's a reconnaissance plane. The Japanese know, but they won't tell me. <laughs> Parker! Uh, after him, yes, sir. Our urgent message from complete, sir. Well, give it to me. You'll keep it in your hat all day. <laughs> Carpenter, this is it. This is it. It's in code. Yes, sir. <laughs> well, what do you want? Out, out, out. Shit. Admiral Rogers. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Where? Where? Is, is Admiral Walsh's uh -huh. refrigerator. <laughs> refrigerator? Oh, this is a Saturday end. Oh, it's only Thursday today. Shut up! Mikhail gets the glory and I get stuck with a refrigerator. Get Mikhail on the phone. Yes, sir. No, 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 sir. No, it was just a single nip reconnaissance plane. Yes, sir. Well, I have no idea what they were looking for, sir. <laughs> yes, sir, Captain. I'm listening. I'm listening. Mikhail, you're going on a mission immediately. Be prepared to shove off in one hour. Carpenter, I'm a genius. Yes, I'm going to send Mikhail to Bangalore with a refrigerator. Oh, but sir, you... Nobody can't... told me to keep him available. When the orders come through, I'll pick the man to go on the mission. Oh, brilliant, sir. Just brilliant. Elroy, and this is going to be a great day in your young life. Tomorrow you sail off into history. <laughs> mm. You certainly do. I'm going to use you to test that secret weapon against the Japanese. Oh, but, sir, I'm not worthy of such an honor, sir. I... Cut, Elroy. We're going to see this through together. You're coming along, sir? In spirit, in spirit. <laughs> but, sir, that's practically a suicide mission. Well, dead or alive, you're bound to get the Medal of Honor. <laughs> Please, sir. And Elroy, if you do make it, and you've got all those photographers and reporters clustering around you, I'm going to be at your side. <laughs> Betsy, you look sensational. Oh, thank you. I got us a Jeep. We'll drive to that lonely beach across the island. Betsy, this is the moment I've been waiting for all my life. Hey, Dicker! Come on, let's go, buddy. On the double. On the double where? Back to the island. Virgil, this is Betsy, remember? Get lost. Oh, sorry, pal. We got orders. We're shoving off right now. Today? I thought it was tomorrow. That's right, tomorrow. Get lost, Betsy. <laughs> Told me to bring you back. Well, I, I'm not going. I won't go back. I won't. Come on. Come on. Oh, yeah, come on, get lost, I told you. Come on, now. But this is your finest hour. I thought it was gonna be. Oh, come on, buddy, come on. Get me, baby. Get me. Well, this thing's heavy. What, well, they sure got a cupboard. What's in it, Skip? It says here it's a refrigerator. And that's exactly what it is. A refrigerator. Now, come on, knock it off. A refrigerator? <laughs> These lips think ships. What the devil's in this box? A refrigerator. And you dragged me away from Betsy for this? <laughs> There's something funny going on around here, Mr. Parker. Can we uh, take a little peek? Certainly not. And that's an order. Now, you're the skipper batting down and... Shh. <laughs> Guys, I don't like the looks of this. Yeah, they sure are making a big fuss over just a refrigerator. Hey, Groom, do you think this could be some sort of secret weapon? Nah. Well, don't you know what they're saying over at the main base? What? They say the goal wanted this Frenchies to test this thing. I'm not kidding. But FDR told him it was earmarked for the 73. <laughs> don't say. I heard it was Churchill who. <laughs> Wait a minute. We started that rumor. Even so, where there's smoke. It's fire. Hey, group. Yeah, Ryan. Uh, remember that trap game when we all went into hot here? Yeah. Well, here. That beat Ryan is paying up. All of us do. We wouldn't want it on our conscience now. <laughs> well, sayonara, group. <laughs> Thank you.
Yeah, that ought to do it all right, Parker. All right, boys, get ready to shove off. Hey, Skip, what are we carrying? And yeah, where are we really going? <laughs> oh, come on, now, what's eating you guys? Skip, can you tell us the uh, target for tonight? Yeah, <laughs> yes, I can. Bangalore. And we're delivering a refrigerator to some admiral. Oh, come on, Skip. Give it to us straight. We can take it. All right, now, stow it. You are the skipper. It's a refrigerator. Isn't it? <laughs> That's right. Now, don't go to stop your jabbering, will you? Come on, now, you room among us. Let's get moving. Take a start your engines. Betsy, Betsy, I'm going to get killed without even enjoying the fringe benefits. <laughs> Will you get moving, you fight the make balls? Come on! <laughs> Gruber, this is the last time I'm going to say it. This is not a secret mission, and that is a refrigerator we carry. Skip, don't you trust us? Oh, this is a limit. Now, look, you ain't balls are falling for your own scuttlebutt, and I've had all I'm going to take from you guys. Hey, man, it's at 10 o'clock. There's a pack of them. <laughs> hey, there must be hundreds of them. Well, what can they want from us? Answer your question? Not a secret mission, eh? Christy, let's get out of here. Hey! Stop on the port side! That's that stop it, you dummy! Hey, there's a stop there too! <laughs> Your base of action. Now, how can those nips have found out? How else? Gruber is big now. Loose lips are gonna sink a ship, all right. Ours. Come on, pour it out. Get us out of here. Hey, the engines have conked out. We're carrying too heavy a load. Well, dump it over the side. Skip. Come on, you heavy. Get that plastic box over the side. On the double. Pleasure. Skip, you can't do that. Who says so? Get it over the side. Come on. Well, what's FDR gonna say? And Churchill. <laughs> Try the engines now. Boy, oh, your goal's gonna be mad too. <laughs> now let's get out of here. Hey, look, the nips are going after it. Hey, Christy, head for that cove. There's a nip sub in the way. What? Breathing, but I'm dead. Don't worry, Tinker. You shall return. We'll start some new scuttlebutt. We'll, uh, we'll spread the word to Betsy that uh, <laughs> you were saying, oh, great loose lips. <laughs> 